I am Ubaba Oyedwa, a single father in Zulu. In my Africa, they call single fatherhood an unnatural occurrence. I call it an opportunity to develop my parenting skills. That is Amakono Oguba Umzali. In my Africa, they call single fatherhood a destructive phenomenon. That is Indo Epubisayo in Zulu. I call it a life-inflicted lesson that has enabled me to grow in Ubuntu as a human being. In my Africa, they call single fatherhood a case of the first order, that is Isikalegi so in Zulu. I call it Isibusiso, that is a blessing. What does it mean to be a single father in South Africa? I am Umahamba Yedwa, the Lone Ranger and proudly stand up with my shoulders high and declare from the mountain top that I am the proudest, most unmarried, married father of three beautiful children. I am a product of a system that has thrown the breadwinners into the jungle of urban areas to fend for their families. I am the product of a system that has converted the mothers into single heads of rural homes to tend to the fields and head the cattle while the husbands are away in the towns. Mine is a marriage just in name. It is not because I do not have a wife, but my wife and I have been separated by the laws of economics. The laws of survival of the fittest have forced me to work in the mines of Josie, the city of gold, for a living. The economy does not allow me to sit down in my rural home and enjoy my wife's hospitality. What caliber of man am I? I am no longer Umninimuzi, the head of the home, and Inkunzi Ekonya Esbayenisayo, the bull that bellows in its own crawl. Those are the realities of economic migration. In my journey of single fatherhood, I've learned the art of financial management. With the home executive manager role heaped on me, I now carry the responsibility of the day-to-day -day running of the home. From the few but pennies I make, I can't afford a helper to assist with the household chores. My stature has moved from being the man of the house who lays claim to responsibility for the big things of the house, to daily home operations management. Now I have to come down to the level of counting every cent in the house, making sure everything on the grocery list is purchased, and making sure the windows are clean. I raise my children alone in the hostels of Josie. I have learned the art of being in two places at the same time. There is no one to split parental responsibilities with, no one to share the kitchen apron with, no one to pay the bills when I'm busy at work, no one to do the shopping, no one to share the load of taking the children to school daily. I am overwhelmed by the pressure of the daily tasks. Exhaustion has become my middle name. When night creeps in and the stresses of the day take over, Loneliness and grief overwhelm me. It brings back the good memories I had in the days of my youth. My social life has come to an abrupt halt. Depression has become my middle name. Society hasn't changed its perceptions on single fathers like me. I am prone to the rude comments from some quarters on a non-traditional child minder. I am now the object of piercing eyes when I change baby nappies in the male toilets. I'm now familiar with the piercing eyes from mothers at school. The piercing eyes of waitresses when I take my children out for dinner sends shivers down my spine. They question why I'm a single father, as though it were a sin. No one and no one loads me as a superhero. In all this, I declare that I am a single father. As a single father, I am as capable as any mother. While it is hard to be a single parent, it is not impossible at all.